Hi there guys, welcome to part four. So today we're going to be learning about a few different drum beats. So we've talked about a couple of different drum fills and a couple of different rudiments. We've only really learned, well, basically one drum beat. So let's learn a few more. So we're gonna learn a linear drum beat firstly. So linear means one note at a time. So you never play two things at the same time or that would be classed as more like a coordination combination. Oh, it's a, it's a combination of notes rather than single notes. So the first one is going to be a reggae drum beat, looking like this. Right, left, right, left. Bass, hi-hat, snare, hi-hat. All right, and you can see that I'm using my single stroke roll. Right, left, right, left. So that's something quite interesting as well not just in a drum fill that you would play or use a rudiment. So you can speed that up. Creating more like a scar kind of feeling drum beat. Um, another drum beat we could use is um, we could play bass, bass, snare, bass, 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 snare. And you keep going with this right hand, bass, bass, snare, bass, 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 snare. And you would add in a hi-hat every hit that you would hit with the right hand. All right, that drum beat is used in many, many, many different genres. A lot of these drum beats actually don't just have one genre. And when I say genre, I mean style of playing. So just because there is a rock beat, doesn't mean it couldn't be in funk, doesn't mean it couldn't be, well, rock, pop, could be pretty much anything really, okay? You could use it in heavy metal if you wanted, you could use it in anything. So it's just a drum beat, and depending on what other instruments you use with it, depends on what the kind of sound that song will have. Cool. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.